Hi, I'm Sebastian. I'm here in uh, Jamaica on Camp KD, where we're doing a lot of work on KD, both discussing and um, writing code. And I was asked to uh, tell you what I think of Qt, and I think it's great software. First, it provides a lot of stuff we need. It does so very nicely. I can um, guess most of the API, actually. That means that uh, the guys in Oslo have done a very good job in streamlining it well. And it's a pleasure, pleasure to work with the people. We've, um, we are pushing the, the line on quite a couple of things. And so we, we are often the first to run into problems. And I found the uh, Qt engineers very nice uh, to help us with the issues we had to listen to our problems. And um, I think we, we're even seeing in the uh, newer releases uh, quite some stuff that was implemented because we needed it in Plasma. So we're having a great time, thanks to all the people in Oslo, and check out Qt45. Wow, why I like Qt? So many things, like there's the API is so easy to use, the documentation is awesome. The, there's all these new technologies now with Qt4, there's phonon, makes sound and multimedia so easy. There's the graphics view, which we use a hell of a lot in Plasma and do crazy things like putting widgets on the screensaver and widgets on everything, pretty much. Uh, and there's the community as well. Community is definitely awesome and being around so many smart developers and being able to share ideas and talk to people. Everyone is so open and friendly and everyone helps each other. It's really great. Hi. One of the reasons I like Qt is because it lets me concentrate on doing uh, the meat of my program, the actual code that uh, makes my program different from the others and not having to battle all the difference between different operational systems like Windows and menus, Qt handles, all this for me in an easy way and I can concentrate on doing the core of my stuff. I use Qt because it allows me to rapidly prototype new features and add multi-threading very easily to my applications. My name is Orville Bennett, I'm with the KDE Mac project and we like working with Qt because it makes cross-platform development much easier than it normally would be. And it integrates with the environment much better than some of the other toolkits which we know of. APIs by a lot of software developers considered a matter of taste. The reality is that it's not. There are certain values when it comes to API design that are uniformly considered incredibly useful and fantastic. And Qt managed to transcend all of those values. The API is simply capable of a lot more. It's a lot more friendly and very, very easy. So whenever Qt comes up with a new technology, it fits within the paradigm that Qt set for its own API. The other thing that that for me and my team is, is, is so incredibly important is, is not the cross-platform nature of Qt, but the ease that it, that, it, that it exposes to developers and the ability to port to different, to different operating systems as you develop your application is simply an added benefit of the incredible API and the incredible technology that Qt exposes all across the board. I guess what I like best about working with Qt is that you know, I can get my same working environments on Windows and the day I need to test my work on Linux or on Mac or on another platform, I just, you know, pretty much just need to switch the platform and recompile and I'm most of the time done uh, without the hassle of platform dependencies and uh, other things that I'm not, that I wouldn't want to be bothered about or uh, wouldn't want to care about. I guess on the technical level, it's also a framework that just makes my general life easier, not only for making my graphical user interface, but also for designing my applications and my day-to-day -day work, you know. No need to care about memory management, no need to care about uh, optimization and copy efficiency. It just works, it just works, and I trust the people making Qt that they are doing a good work and that they are making a framework which is reliable and which I can get more efficient on. And I love Qt because it's a joy to use. You have great documentation, all the major frameworks are explained, and all around it's fairly simple and fairly trivial to get up and started. Uh, Qt Creator is a wonderful IDE, it's really shaping up, 
Key Develop has native support, and overall it's just very easy to program and very easy to use. And uh, I'm not really sure why you pick anything else if you're starting a major application on C++. Qt takes a stark language, a sparse language, a very compact language, and it makes it happy to write, and it turns, it turns prose into poetry. And the code that I write feels more elegant. I like Qt because it reminds me of Visual Age C++, which was the first time that I learned how to use C++ in a way that made it fun, that made it expressive, where all of the nasty technical details were not glossed over, they were given an elegant twist so that the, whole, the language as a whole became nicer to use. It turns a language where you have to think of every detail into a language where you can think of every detail, but you can also let Qt take care of it properly for you. Hey everyone, this is Wade Olson, uh, one of the Camp KDE organizers, uh, along with uh, Gamral, Jeff, Roger, and Dimitri. Um, I don't know if you've noticed or you can hear, but if you pan a little bit to the right, you're going to see the Caribbean Sea that we're right next to. If you pan to the left, or you pan to the right, or you pan behind you, you're going to see a lot of developers that are here that haven't quite noticed that we're next to the Caribbean Sea yet. A lot of people got their laptops, a lot of people are being productive, and a lot of people are relaxing. Uh, we've had a great first Camp KDE, and hopefully it's only the, the first one of many more to come. So I want to thank Qt Software, I want to thank all of our other sponsors, and uh, thank you very much.